Lady Minutes nummer 1592 met een uitzending voor vandaag 6 april 2019. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. This bulletin will be almost completely in English. Dit bulletin is bijna geheel in het Engels. Vandaag hebben we het nieuws van de RCB en daarnaast helemaal aan het eind Slow Scan Radio van afgelopen middag als data. Shortwave Radio Gram op 9400 kHz werd vanmiddag niet uitgezonden. In Slow Scan Radio zitten vier soorten data. Uh, het belangrijkste is SSTV in PD90, dat is, heeft de langste tijdsduur ook. Daarnaast is een deel van de tijd dat er SSTV is ook MFSK32 op 670 Hz. MFSK32 op 670 Hz. Hierin zitten meerdere afbeeldingen. Daarnaast is er nog Contestia 4 schuine streep 125 op 300 Hz. Contestia 4 schuine streep 125 op 300 Hz. En tenslotte is er Veldhel op 28,75 hertz. Veldhel op 28,75 hertz. Dit lijstje wordt in de uitzending aan het begin ook nog een keer uitgezonden. In MFSK is dat en Domino X44 bij de op 1500 hertz. Je kunt het best naast een SSTV-programma vier stuks FL Digi opstarten. Van drie programma's stel je dan elk van de drie modus in. Waarbij je van de drie stuks RXID rechts bovenaan uitzet. Alleen bij de vierde laat je RXID aanstaan zodat hij automatisch kan schakelen. Je kunt in plaats daarvan trouwens ook de uitzending opnemen of van YouTube beluisteren. En dan de modus telkens één voor één decoderen. Van Contestia en Veldhel zitten er meerdere korte stukken in de uitzending. CQ, 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 calling all radio amateurs and shortwave listeners. This is GB2RS, the news broadcasting service of the Radio Society of Great Britain. It's read to you by G4NJH in Nottingham, and you can find the text of the bulletin on the RSGB's own website and at the podcast at gb2rs.podbean.com. Good morning, it's Sunday the 7th of April 2017, this is GB2RS News. Here are the main news headlines, new syllabus tutorial slides available, work GB2DAY at Bletchley Park, new videos from the RSGB. The RSGB has released SDR and digital model tutorial slides to assist tutors prepare for the new 2019 syllabus, which is expected to be used for amateur radio exams from September. The slides were first presented to tutors at the SDR and digital syllabus matters meeting held on the 17th of March. You can download the model tutorial side from the RSGB's own site. GB2DAY is a special event station to celebrate and promote the opening of the teleprinter building at Bletchley Park, which houses a fantastic D-Day expedition entitled Interception Intelligence Invasion. The new exhibition is open from Wednesday the 11th of April as part of the general admission to Bletchley Park Museum, located near Milton Keynes. Operating from the RSGB's National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park, GB2DAY will be on the air from Wednesday until Sunday, with activity in CW and SSB on the 80 and 40 metre bands. RSGB members can gain free access to Bletchley Park and the National Radio Centre by downloading and printing a voucher from the RSGB's website. Two new videos are now available on the RSGB YouTube channel. They're Improving Your Morse Code Skills by Ray Burlington Goff, G4FON, and FT8 Performance Secrets by Neil Smith, G4DBN. You can access these lectures via the RSGB website. Visitors, visitor numbers to the RSGB National Radio Centre at Bletchley Park continue to be high. On some days, around 40 to 50 percent of Bletchley Park visitors visit the NRC. In March, the NRC volunteers welcomed 8,268 visitors, a significant increase on last year's number of 2,156, and the second highest monthly figure of visitors on record. With the increasing visitor numbers, Nigel Ambridge, G4FRL, has joined the NRC volunteer team. If you're interested in becoming an NRC volunteer, please contact Martin with a Y, martin.baker at rsgb.org.uk. The GB3 LEX 10 gigs beacon was reinstalled by G3 TQF at the Leicestershire Repeater Group site at IO 92 IQ on the 30th of March at 1200 UTC. Two reports from G3 UKV in IO 82 RR 
and G0 API in IO80XS have already been received, but further reports are always welcome via Leicestershire Repeater Group, or one word, .org.uk, Beacon Spot, etc. For further details, see the Leicestershire Repeater Group's own site. The RSGB is looking for an enthusiastic volunteer to perform the role of Beyond Exams Championship. Uh, champion, sorry. The post holder will play a key role in supporting the implementation of Strategy 2022, especially in the priorities of growth participation and diversity. Beyond Exams is a suite of initiatives designed to promote engagement, learning and enjoyment in amateur radio for all. As a member of the newly formed Amateur Radio Development Committee, the champion is needed to look after the schemes under this banner. To find out more and to apply, please email Mark Jones, G0MGX, via G0MGX at rsgb.org.uk. Closing date is Friday the 3rd of May, and there's more information on the RSGB's own website. Now the details of rallies and events in the coming week. Today the 7th, the Cambridge Repeater Group rally takes place at Foxton Village Hall, Hardman Road, Cambridge, CB22 6RN. There'll be a talking station and car parking is free. Doors open 9.30, £2 to get in. There'll be traders bring and buy and an RSGB bookstall. Burger van has been booked for on-site catering. Contact Lawrence M0LCM 07941. 972-724 or www.cambridgerepeaters.net Also today the 35th Yeovil ARC QRP convention takes place at Digby Hall, Sherbourne in Dorset, DT93AA. Doors open at 9.30, admission £3. No dogs can be admitted except blind dogs. The event is supported by the RSGB, Raphael's and by Lara. There'll be club stands as well as new and second-hand stalls. Two talks are scheduled, a remarkable very young lady radio amateur and an introduction to mag loops. Refreshments will be available on site. Contact Bob Harris, G8UED, via WJH figures 069 at gmail.com or see http yeovillearc hyphen arc dot com Next Sunday the 14th, the West London Radio and Electronic Show takes place at Kempton Park Racecourse, Staines Road East Sun- Sunbury on Thames, DW sixteen five AQ. A talking station will be on air, car parking is free and the doors open at ten AM, with the disabled visitors gaining access ten minutes earlier. There'll be trade stands and a bring and buy, as well as special interest groups and lectures. Catering available on site. More from Paul M zero CJX. 08451650351. Also on the 14th, the Hack Green Bunker Rally will be held at the Hack Green Secret Nuclear Bunker French Lane, Hack Green near Nantwich, Baddington, Cheshire, CW58AL. It's a sale of electronic equipment, amateur gear components, military radio items, and vehicle spares. Doors open 10 a.m., there'll be refreshments available on site. Contact 01270 for more information. And finally, for next Sunday, the Ripon Radio Rally takes place at Hugh Ripley Hall, Ripon, HG42PT. Doors open 10am. Refreshments available on site. Information and a table booking at www.ripon with one p ripon.org.uk. To get your event into Radcom onto GB2RS and the RSGB website, please send details as early as possible to radcom at rsgb.org.uk. We need to know about four months in advance for anything going into Radcom. Now the DX News from 425DX News and other sources. John W5JON will be on the Caribbean island of St. Kitts, IOTA NA104 throughout April. He'll be activating his V47JA call sign on all bands from 160 to 6 metres on SSB and FT8 to QSL directly to his home call. A group of Dutch operators will sign HB0 stroke home call from Liechtenstein on the, until the 13th of April. The QSL manager is PE1FLO. Livio, IZ3BUR, is now about halfway through his month long visit to Guinea Bissau. He's very active using his J52EC call sign, QSL home call. Jerry, F4. 
HJO will be active as stroke P from Belle-Île-en-Mer, EU 048, from the 13th to the 21st of April. He'll be operating SSB Ritian FT8, 80 to 15 metres, QSL via Club Log, OQRS, or via the home, uh, via the Bureau to Home Call. Harold, DF2WO, will be active as XT2AW from Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, between the 7th and 26th of April, QSL via M0OXO, OQRS, Logbook of the World. Now for special event news, the Windmill Amateur Radio DX Group will put GB1RY on the air today, the 7th of April, operating from RAF Ramsbury near Marlborough in Wiltshire. They're taking part in airfields on the air this weekend. Uh, details via the RAFARS that's rafals.org website. Special event station OL75CLAY will be active from the 12th of April to the 31st of July, commemorating the 75th anniversary of the dropping of the clay paratroops in the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia. The main mode will be CW, but they want to be active on SSB, FM and possibly Digi modes. Every first QSO will be answered by a special QSL card sent via the Bureau. Please do not send your cards. They will also answer every SWL report sent via the Bureau to OK2PXJ or via email. Send a stamp addressed envelope for direct requests. 2019 will see the 50th anniversary of landing men on the moon. One of the places that the astronauts trained was the mile-wide meteor crater in Arizona. During 2019, Northern Arizona DX Association will set up and operate K7M until the 13th of April from the Meteor Crater National Natural Landmark. Other activations will follow throughout the year. The Yukon Canam Contest Club has secured Canadian special prefixes for use by all Canadian licensees until the 28th of May. VEs can use CK, VAs can use CJ, VYs can use CZ, and VOs can use CY. The special prefixes are celebrating the 50th anniversary of the Official Languages Act of Canada. The club itself has secured the special call sign CZ1Z. Please QSL via Logbook of the World. Please send special event details to radcom.rsgb.org.uk as early as possible for free publicity on GB2RS and Radcom Online. And remember that UK special event call sign stations must be open to the um, public, so our free publicity can help make your efforts more widely known. Now for contest news, the 24-hour SBDX contest end it, ends its 24-hour run at 1500 UTC to, today the 7th using CW or SSB 1.8 to 28 megs. The exchange's signal report and serial number, SB stations also send their province code. Today the 7th, the first 70 megahertz contest runs from 0900 to 1200 UTC using all modes on the 4 meter band, signal report, serial number and locator form the exchange. Also today, the RSGB Rolo HF Championship takes place, running from 1930 to 2030 UTC. This SSB contest uses the 80 meter band only, the exchange of signal report and the receive and the locator you received. On Tuesday, the 432 Megs FM activity contest runs from 1800 to 1855 UTC using FM only, and that's immediately followed by the all-mode 432 Megs UK activity contest from 1900 to 2130 UTC. The exchange for both contests is signal report serial number and locator. On Wednesday, the 80 metre club championship runs from 1900 to 2030 UTC using SSB only the exchange's signal report and serial number. On Thursday, the 50 megs machine generated mode activity contest runs from 1800 to 1900 UTC. The exchange's signal report serial number and four character locator. It's immediately followed by the all mode 50 megs UK activity contest 1900 to 2130 UTC. The exchange's signal report serial number and locator. Next Sunday, the 14th, the first 50 megs contest takes place from 0900 to 1200 UTC using all mode the exchange's signal report serial number, locator and postcode. Also next Sunday the 14th, the Worked All Britain data contest runs from 1000 to 2200 UTC using the 3.5 to 14 megs bands, the exchange's signal report serial number and WAB number. Now for the radio propagation report compiled by G0KYAG3YLA and G4BAO, 
Last week saw more or less the same. Uh, sorry, last week saw more of the same as we head towards minimum solar solar minimum, which is now expected to be sometime in 2020. There was a slight increase in the solar flux index later in the week as a new embryonic sunspot appeared on the visible disk. A group of three solar coronal holes threatened to cause disturbed conditions this weekend and again on the 12th of April, with NOAA predicting the KP index could rise to 4. Otherwise, the geomagnetic conditions will remain settled, and the solar flux index is forecast to remain at 69 to 70. This is a good time of year for north-south paths, such as UK to South Africa, UK to South America. Maximum usable frequencies are expected to be about 14 to 18 megs, but don't ignore 30 and 40 metres, which could still throw up some surprises, especially around about sunset. There's a slight chance of openings to Australia and New Zealand on these lower bands, and the HF propagation prediction tool at predtest.com. Uh, UK will help show you the best times to attempt a contact. contact. Contacts into North Africa are also possible on 20 to 40 metres, especially in the early evening. Do make the most of HF at this time as conditions are likely to get worse as we head into summer, apart from sporadic east station at season, but more on that later. Now for VHF and up, it's looking like a finely balanced weather pattern with high pressure to the north of the British Isles, low pressure near to southern areas. The influence is more from low pressure at first, so there's a continuing chance of heavy April showers, bringing some rain scattered to the gigahertz band just as we had last week. As the northern high becomes stronger, it will induce an easterly or northeasterly weather pattern, so the North Sea coast will feel very chilly. Strong winds at times will mean that Tropo doesn't get much of a look-in in the south, although there is a possibility in the north, so the main theme for the VHF-UHF bands will be a possible occasional bit of weak Tropo in the north, plus some rain scatter in the south. Use the online radars to see where the echo points might be. We're approaching mid-April now, so it's time to start monitoring the 6 and 10 metre bands for some sporadic E. Last week already saw cluster reports of FT8 Q- QSO, so it will be interesting to note how this new mode is extending to sporadic E season. Moon declination is positive and rising and path losses are falling this week, so it's a good one for EME. There are no significant meteor showers, but we're only a couple of weeks away from the Lyrids on the 23rd. That's it from the propagation team this week. That's all from me to until next week. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks vanaf ongeveer 1900 uur te beluisteren. De uitzending wordt een dag later om half elf ochtends herhaald. Alle mail is welkom op het adres x, xdvme Dat is ook te vinden rechts boven aan de webpagina van de uitzending www.pa0ete.nl. De Daily Minutes toont iedere dag weer aan de hand van schokkende voorbeelden hoe een hobby mensenlevens kan veranderen. De internetfaciliteiten en studio hardware voor Daily Minutes worden gesponsord door 70 megahertzshopnl 70 mhzshopnl Whoever hears this is crazy. This is Slow Scan Radio. Good afternoon, this is Peter John. We bring you experiments with slow scan TV images, mostly photos and also several kinds of data transmission using FL Digi. We have a show sending some data and mostly SSDV images. The images can be received with your normal radio. The easiest way is to use a smartphone holding it simply close to the receiver speaker. You will need an app like Robot36 for Android or CQ SSTV for iOS then. There are also good programs for PC. More info about that you can find on our website www.slowscanradio.com www.slowscanradio.com For the data preferably use FL Digi, although other programs most probably will work as well.
Flow Scan Radio is copyright 2018, excluding rights of featured items and any music. Website is www.slowscanradio.com. Mail address is xray at xraydeltavictor.mikeecho.